Hey guys, so obviously by the title of this video you guys can tell that this video is going to be what's in my carry-on bag. And I decided to film this video, what's in my carry-on bag, because I just went on a recent trip to Europe and I went for two weeks. And we traveled to Croatia, Italy, Venice and some other places around there. But we did a lot of road traveling. I obviously took my carry-on on the plane and definitely in the car because when you see my bag, I'm a pretty overpacker type of person. I don't know if I'm going to do a what's in like my luggage sort of video. I actually have to sit on my luggage to get it closed because I pack too much. I think I did a pretty good job of packing what's in my carry-on because it still has a little bit of room but it is really heavy too. Okay, so this is my carry-on bag and it's just a blue backpack from Roots with the little, like, little beaver. It has a lot of pouches and a lot of like room to store a lot of things. So I'm going to start with the biggest pouch. The first thing I have is my Go Canada pillow. And as most of you guys know, it says on my like channel page that I am from Canada and I do live in Canada. So it has like a zipper. And then there's a blanket inside and it just says Go Canada, but it's a really small blanket. So you can only like put it on your upper body, like shoulders and stuff. And then there's a pouch that you unbutton. And then there's this thing. You guys are probably like, what the heck is this? So once you blow this up with your mouth, because there's like a thing, or if you wanted to, you can get a pump. You put it in here in like the pillowcase and you zip it up and you have like your own pillow. Like how cool is that? You have a pillow and a blanket on the plane. You don't even need to like buy the ones that they have or are selling or whatever, but sometimes it's free. So yeah. The next thing I have in my carry-on is just some comfortable clothes. So on the plane, it's usually really cold if you guys don't know. Like even if it's hot where you're traveling to or where you're departing from, it gets really cold and you go higher and higher up into the sky with the plane. So I brought just some comfortable clothes like a comfortable t-shirt from Wicked. I went to go see the musical so I bought the shirt. I have some capri pants that are just from Forever 21 and they're actually I think the same as Kara's here on YouTube, Viva Glam Mission and it just has like a white band and they're like athletic pants and they're quarter length capri sort of pants. And then I know you wouldn't want to wear shorts since I said it was so cold, but if you wanted to and you're not much of like of a pants person, I brought just some comfortable shorts. They're like really warm inside and they're just from Abercrombie. And then I just have some comfortable fuzzy socks on the plane because I like wearing comfortable socks and shoes and these are red ones for Canada. And then of course you need a sweater too since I said it was so cold. It looks like I'm going to the Arctic with all this stuff. This is just from Aritzia and it's just a hoodie. It's really cozy and comfortable. And then the last thing I have in the biggest pouch is just a book because when I go to the beach, I like to read. Also, when I don't read so much on the plane because I do get motion sickness even in the car I do. But if I'm not doing anything and we're waiting for like something or if we're at the beach, I like to read. And I know some people out here on YouTube don't like to read out there at the beach because they like to see like their surroundings and stuff. But when I read, it helps me get more into the surroundings and where I'm at. So this book is just called Boys, Bears, and a Serious Pair of Hiking Boots. And it's a really good book. I'm not going to explain much about it, but if you guys want me to do like a video on like summer books and stuff, I can do that. I'm halfway through my book. I'm on like chapter 21. So next is the second biggest pouch. And in the second biggest pouch I have, so I just have my wallet and this is just a floral one that my grandma gave me. Since we went to Europe, you need euros for when you go to Italy and you need kuna for when you go to Croatia. I just had Canadian money, but that doesn't really help. It just has like some pouches and I have some cards in there, but they're pretty local, so... Or just some gift cards and stuff. And then this set I'm going to show you. This is just like a little makeup bag, but I have two makeup bags. And they don't both have makeup, just this one does. But it has the same design. So this one just has some like girly pinkish purple shoes um, with like a little heel zipper. And then this one just has like the same uh, design. And then my toiletries bag also has the same design, but that's going to be another video. Because this one's going to be really super long, I think. You open it up. And in here I just have like the essentials to bring on a plane and they're all under like the fluid ounces that you need it. So this is the miniature size Ed Hardy perfume and I have the big size too. We got it with the shower gel and the body lotion stuff but I love the smell and it's like, I don't know how to describe it, it's like girly, feminine with like an edgier smell at the like edge of it I guess. Next I just have some like cotton swabs, q-tips, because just to like fix up your makeup that smudges and stuff if you have any time. Not that I do that on my trip because I don't. Then I have like this little plastic bag so stuff doesn't spill but this is like my tie to go because I get quite dirty on trips and you don't really have time to do laundry. And this is my warm vanilla sugar hand sanitizer and this is 50 milliliters so 1.7 fluid ounces. 
And then I just have a chapstick because my ch lips get chapped really easily, like especially when I'm in the car for a while or on the plane because our flight was an eight hour long flight. So it's pretty long and we left really late at night and got back early in the morning. So this is just a kiss and moisture. I think Nivea kiss and moisture and I love this. And I actually brought it to the beach and it like melted and it was like falling apart and I was like freaking out because it's like one of the only chapstick I brought. Well, actually that's a lie because I bring like a lot of chapsticks and I'm going to stop talking because I talk too fast and it's going to be a long video. Long story short, I just put it in the freezer because apparently that like helps it get back together and it's all fine now. Just a little like demented. I got this like mirror slash brush, my local Sally's Beauty Supply, and it says Sally Girl. And you open it and it's a mirror. But then, there's a brush. So you can like brush your hair and look at yourself at the same time. Like, what? An all in one. Two in one. Two in one. That's a good word. And my next bag is my makeup bag and it has makeup in it so first I brought my little KQC straightener it's like my miniature size and I ordered this on flatironexperts.com I actually ordered the big one and I have the big one and it comes with a straightener stand a small KQC and a like shine spray heat protectant stuff and then I have a little heat protectant and this is perfect because it says turn up the heat and it's just like a small miniature size of the big one but I hate this so much because it makes your hair so oily and the lady at Sally's insisted that I got a new one when I went there to buy like a hair curler or something and I was like no no, no it's okay I have one like uh, trust me whatever and she's like no 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 this one's so good like just don't put too much in your hair it'll get too oily too greasy no as soon as you put one spray, your hair is already oily and greasy and it's like soaking and dripping wet in this stuff. So what I did is I actually poured my Pantene heat protectant in here. I like that smell better and everything and the formula better. So that's the first thing I have in here. Then I bring pretty much one or two makeup items from each category from like lip to bronzer to powder and that sort of stuff. So first I'll start off with liquid base product and I just brought my CoverGirl Nature Luxe liquid silk foundation in the color Oak. And this is my favorite liquid face product for summer. Solar Power SPF 20 bronzer. And it just has this like dark color, a uh, toffee color, and then like a yellow color and a hit pan already. But uh, it's my sister's and I like to use this sometimes because it just gives you that natural, natural glow. And when you open it, there's just like a compartment underneath that has a mirror and the brush was under here, but I hate using the brushes that come with it. Next is a blush and mine is the Dream Mousse blush in the color Pink Frosting 10. And I love this color. It's so pink. And a lot of people like peach satin or pink satin, whatever it is. And I've gone through quite a bit of this because I don't want to waste the rest before summer because cream blushes are great. But the peach satin, pink satin one, I think is a little too light. And I really like having bright blushes. Then for eye products, I got my CoverGirl Shimmering Sands Trio Eyeshadow Quad. I have my sponge tip applicator, but the other side fell off when I was traveling. A liquid liner, and it's just my Maybelline Line Stiletto Black. Black is black or very black liquid liner and you guys know that this is like my favorite liquid liner, my felt tip and I've gone through like three or four tubes of this already and I haven't tried a different one and I love it so much I had to buy a different brand because I want to try a different one but I'm scared to use this all because I don't want to go buy another one. Makeup is expensive and like I'm going to be broke. I have my L'Oreal Intense Fire or whatever liquid liner and I'm going to try that out soon too. But next I just have some fun colored liners for your eyes. I just have this purple one from Anvel and Abel. It's in the color Violet 57. I don't know if it's going to focus. I don't know. And then this one's in the color Lotus. I love this color, 109. This like really makes your eyes pop. I think I have brown eyes, but I think it'll make someone with green eyes or blue eyes, their eyes pop more. I don't know. Then I just have this other one from Maybelline in the color Sapphire. And it's like this blue, but you can't really tell because it looks really dark. But I'll like swatch each one. So blue, green, purples in the middle. Um, fun colors to wear in the summer and spring. Next, I just have a concealer, and this is the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. Next is just my one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Maybelline One by One Black Mascara, and it's okay, I guess. I I prefer other mascaras, but I don't know. This one's okay. And then my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have to take that with me. And last is lip products. So this one is the Revlon Coral Reef Lip Coral Color Lip Gloss. And this is a great color to wear to give your outfit a pop of color. I think it's Rimmel and it's 042 Just So. I don't know if you can pick that up. And just this like really plumish reddish pink color. It's like right there. 
it, it's a nice color. And then I picked one nail polish if you had to reapply. Not that I do because I don't really have much time when I'm on vacation. But I reapply the For Audrey China Glaze. And I don't know who doesn't like this. Everyone raves about it on YouTube by China Glaze. And I really like that. I don't wear makeup every day when I'm on vacation, especially like in another like country, because I don't have as much time, especially when we're like sightseeing and um, going to the beach and stuff. I don't want my makeup to sweat off and stuff. Like I don't believe wearing a lot of makeup to the beach. I just wear like um, chapstick and maybe some waterproof mascara. So my next pouch is this one right here. It's my Chi traveling set, but I stuck some other things in here. So this Chi set originally just came with a silk infusion, a shampoo, a conditioner, and the Chi 44 Iron Guard heat protectant. And this was about like 17 bucks, so I don't know. It's a little pricey to get like this just for like 20 with like the full size of like each thing. But it even has a little airplane. And I thought this was perfect for traveling because especially if your luggage gets lost with these necessities that I'm about to show you, it's great to have your necessities that you need for nighttime hygiene and stuff in your carry-on just in case. This is great for if you have to shower and straighten your hair, blow dry, whatever. I also stuck a few other things in the little bag so it was like overflowing. This is just a conditioner treatment therapy for your hair if your hair gets damaged or something on the trip. Not that you want to worry about that, but if you're that secure about it. Then I have my little hairspray bottle, and it's just the Alberto one I put in here. I don't really like the Alberto hairspray, but that's the only one that I could take off the cap and actually legit pour in this little bottle. I, you buy these little bottles, I think, at like Walmart or something, and it came with like a pack of things, and it came with like these labels, and you can label like hand cream, hairspray, heat protectant, stuff like that. So I stuck hairspray bottle sticker on the hairspray bottle and it just like and then I just have a Cetaphil face wash poured in this little mini shampoo thingy and then my chapstick milk and honey by Nivea I absolutely love it and doesn't have that much left because I love it so much and I always put on chapstick before I go to bed then I just have a toothbrush and a toothbrush holder you know these toothbrush holders are really hard to find because I like can't find them anywhere and my like mom gets them for me and then I have my floss, and this one is just this, like, blue threading floss. But I don't have wire on the top, so I use this for the top. And then I just have my mini size traveling toothpaste. So I think this little oversized set is great to bring on your carry-on. Oh, and one more thing, a good small body mist to bring is just this one. It's White Citrus by Bath & Body Works, and it's 3 fluid ounces, 88 milliliters. It smells so fruity and so good, so this is well loved, too, because it's, like, almost done. Just leave any suggestions in the comments or inbox me or tweet me, follow me on Twitter. And yeah, so I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.